Hey guys, what's going on? Today I am showing you my 600 point Silver Age team that I'm gonna use today in my tournament. It's Silver Age, so you can pay any figures, but just no feats. So this team right here is gonna be Apocalypse. I've been really wanting to use the new Dark Side. He has all these really awesome new powers where you, you negative one to any penetrating damage, but he can't trans transfer the damage because he has Mastermind. He's got Quintessence, so he can push and he cannot be outwitted, so those are really good things. He also has Psychic Blast, his full dial. Starts off with Mastermind, which is really nasty because it cannot be outwitted, so any damage you do to him, he can pass it on to any figure adjacent to him that is lower points. So that's gonna be pretty much anybody because he's 267 points. He has a boom tube invasion where he can use phase and teleport and then carry up to three figures d and no matter what their uh, foot symbol. So they c he can carry flyers and he, and he also can carry uh, grounded characters. But the key thing is he can, and one of those figures that he carries, if they're under 125 points and they share a keyword where, with Darkseid, they can be given a non-free action once the move is done and they move in there. So like Darkseid can carry three of those people, move, and then one of those characters, if they have the same keyword with him, can do an action. Uh, they can move, they can attack, they can pretty much do what they would normally do. So that's really awesome. They would be given a token, and this is, as of right now, the only figure that's able to do this, that you cannot, you typically cannot carry someone and then have that character do something other than like use their probability or use their outwit, only like free actions. But this is actually something that you can do and give them an action. So only one of those characters can do that. But that opens up a lot of possibilities because he has 12 movement, you carry so that's 10 movement, and then like whatever character you have, they have their range on top of that. So you can move your full movement with dark side, carry, drop a character off, and then they could do a shoot or they can even charge. So very nasty stuff you can do with him and the, the other guys. So the other figures on this team are three Parademon Grunts. Um, they have a special power that gives them perplexes up their movement and attack by one if they are within eight squares of a character with uh, Apocalypse that's higher points than them. They're like, I believe they're one of the lowest uh, Apocalypse keyworded figures, especially uh, newer figures. There's older figures in way, way old sets that are lower, but uh, in newer stuff, this is that, that, that's good. And then we have Libra, a stealthy figure, has a power where she can pick an opposing character and the friendly character, and if that opposing character is in within eight squares and the if friendly and opposing character with eight, eight squares of Libra, that if that opposing character targets the friendly character with an attack, Libra can prob that. So that's really good. There's no line of sight. It's just uh, within eight squares. So that's really good there. And she's got leadership and she is the second highest point figure on this team. So other than Dark Side, she could take tokens off of anyone else. She also has Mastermind if, you know, if I decide I want to do that. But she's more going to be or he, he's going to be more, in, you know, not going to be worried about that. I'm probably going to hide him in the back and have the grunts up front, like doing blocking and stuff like that. And then we have Lashina. Um, also, similar powers here. Blades. She also has leadership and toughness. That's gonna, The leadership is going to be the same thing. I'm gonna be able, I will be able to possibly take tokens off of lower pointed figures. She is the third highest figure on here, so she wouldn't be able to help Libra. But, um, you know, uh, those are just going to be added figures with the key words to help, you know, get the prob. But not too bad figures. Then we had the Parademon Drill Sergeant. It's a very basic figure, but the one thing that it gives you is when an adjacent friendly character that makes an attack, modify the character's damage by plus one for that attack. If the attack misses, all targets deal the attacking character one unavoidable damage. So it's like enhancement, but it's from anywhere on the board. You Enhancement normally is range, but this is going to give a bonus from range or close combat. So 
that's going to be really nasty. The only thing is if you miss your attack and you're adjacent to the drill sergeant, you take a click of damage. The benefits for this team are other than dark side. I don't really want to lose mastermind early in the game, but it's depend. I mean, I don't know what I'm, you know, how it's going to work, but um, if he does, he goes on to impervious. So that's not the worst thing in the world, but the, the game plan changes. But um, he's going to definitely help out the grunts because they have charge. So it's all those kind of things. I don't want to give away too many of my secrets on how I'm going to play this team, but you kind of got an idea. I have enough figures that I can mastermind the damage off for sure. At least a couple of those grunts and the drill sergeant might not be a terrible person to uh, take some mastermind damage. But yeah, for the most part, uh, it's a pretty nasty team. I have some other alternatives that I want to go through here. If you take Lashina off and you take off a Grunt, you can add in uh, Goodness and Mercy. Uh, that's a duo figure. And far as I know, I've been searching, you cannot carry a duo figure. So Darkseid would not be able to carry that. But it fits in perfectly and still within 600 points. But the thing is, you won't be able to carry her. But there's a, you know, she's also a really good mastermind fodder piece. Uh, but, you know, this is an awesome, this is also a, a team that I'm thinking about possibly using. I haven't fully decided. It still would be enough figures to pull off the keywords. And there's other uh, team I was thinking about that I'm not going to do just because I kind of want to use the Apocalypse keyword team just to get it out of the way and try it. But I believe that there's probably better teams figures that you can p play with dark side uh, another team would have been dark side with pluto this would be a ruler keyword but it's not going to be keyworded for theme because there's just not enough figures but pluto is a non-flyer but starts off with a 12 attack four damage enhancement 17 defense with energy shield deflection and so you could carry Pluto with Darkseid and then have Pluto attack with that 12. That is disgusting. So that's something that I was thinking about doing. And I probably will eventually that I was going to put on Meek. Um, it's a, a ruler from Monsters and Mutations set, whatever that one is. And that was a 60 point figure. But it was a really good mastermind fodder because it had a really long dial with toughness to negate some of that. Then we have Warlord, 50 point figure with charge, really good attack, a good close combat figure. Not a long dial, but it was a definite uh, good close combat attacker. And then um, I could either go with Storm from GSX. That's a really nasty figure. It's only 86 points, really good attack, damage, and defense. And then you have Solovar from Brave and the Bold, which would have been a really good figure as well. It has TK. Uh, Super Sense is up top for defense, 17 start and 18 second click, and a pretty good damage output. So either Storm or Solovar, I think you couldn't go wrong. Either way, you could you know make a case for adding them on there. It would have been a really nice team, but it wouldn't have had the keyword to get the probs. But uh, this is a pretty cool team, I think. So I'm going to try either this what we see here with goodness and mercy or put in the third Parademon Grunt and Lashina. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. What do you think is the best team here? All right, guys, see ya.